briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1944, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Bowles v. Willingham, which focused on the government's power to control prices, including rent prices during wartime, under the Emergency Price Control Act of 1942. Mrs. Willingham from Macon, Georgia, sued to stop certain rent orders issued under the act, arguing that they were unconstitutional. The case began when a state court issued a temporary injunction in her favor, leading the administrator of the Office of Price Administration to bring a suit in federal court to stop Mrs. Willingham from pursuing state proceedings and violating the act. The district court dismissed the administrator's suit and ruled that the orders and provisions of the act were unconstitutional. This prompted an appeal to the Supreme Court, which examined the Act's provision limiting review of orders to only the Emergency Court of Appeals and the Supreme Court. Ultimately, the Supreme Court held that the Emergency Price Control Act of 1942 allowed the government to control rent prices during war times and provided a way for courts to review such actions. The district court, they ruled, could not stop rent orders, and the Act followed due process requirements despite not providing a hearing before setting rent prices. The decision effectively reversed the lower court's ruling, reaffirming the government's power to regulate rent prices during wartime under the Emergency Price Control Act. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.